Guys, it's winter. It's cold. It's raining outside. So we gotta get ready for it. I mean, you think I'm stepping out into the storm unprepared? No. So today I'm going over the best jackets for winter. We've done joggers, we've done t-shirts, we've done shorts, and a bunch of other stuff. But today we're doing jackets. But let me know what we should do next. And with that being said, let's jump into this. So how I'm breaking this down is I'm gonna give you my favorite categories of jackets. So kind of a little bit of a broader range. And within that, I will give you recommendations of the stuff that I'm wearing as well as some other stuff that I think is pretty dope. But let's kick this off with puffer jackets. Probably one of the most common things for people to wear in the winter time. I mean, they're incredibly versatile, they look great, and they keep you warm. I'd say that a puffer jacket is pretty much a must have, especially if you're living in somewhere that's a little bit colder or rainy, like the UK, you definitely wanna get yourself a puffer jacket. Also, if it gets extra cold, you can kinda layer it. You could chuck a hoodie underneath, depending on what jacket you have, or a sweater or something like that. But what I'm trying to say, a puffer jacket is essential. Now the one I'm wearing is from Zara. I'm not 100% sure if they still sell it anymore as I did buy it a couple years ago, but essentially it's a perfect fit for me. It's kind of cropped, which I do actually really like, especially when you layer it with a hoodie, which is what I do most of the time. Having a higher collar I feel like looks really nice as well as if you zip it all the way up, it comes up nice and high and kind of keeps your neck warm. Zara has a really good selection of different jackets. Not only are they pretty decent quality, but I feel like they look really dope as well and they're not extortionately expensive. I get a lot of my jackets from there, but of course there are a bunch of other recommendations, a North Face puffer, Uniqlo does some really good puffer jackets as well, or you could go something a little bit more hyped like the Yeezy Gap jacket. Whatever you choose, there's a bunch of different options, and I'll try and link as many kind of dope ones that I can find down in the description. All right, let's get into the second one, and that is a varsity jacket or a bomber. So this is kind of something a little bit more recent for me personally, in terms of like a varsity jacket. I've worn plenty of bombers in the past, but is a while ago since I wore a varsity jacket. A bunch of you guys actually recommended this brand to me, Jaded London, I think it's called, and I actually went on there and I bought two of their varsity jackets, and I definitely think that it's a great option for the winter time. They're not too expensive, like, I mean, when it comes to varsity jackets, you can go extortionately expensive. However, these ones I feel like find a kind of midpoint, and I guess that is something to kind of keep in mind when it comes to varsity jackets. A lot of them do cost quite a bit. Probably don't want to go too cheap when it comes to a varsity jacket because it kind of looks a little bit odd and I guess they can cheap out on some of the materials. So the ones I got from Jaded actually have some really nice patches all over it which I do really like but yeah so far I'm really liking these Jaded ones so I definitely would recommend either of these varsity jackets but of course you can go for a bunch of different options which again I'll link as many as I can find that I think are really solid down in the description. Right let's get into the third jacket and one that I'm going to recommend quite highly because it is super versatile and easy to throw on and versatile for different climates as well, and that is a puffer vest or a gilet. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, a gilet. Especially if you're someone who maybe has a lot of dope hoodies or you really like wearing hoodies, these are gonna layer over the top perfectly. Now the one I'm wearing is actually from Represent Clothing. I just really like the way that it fits and that's kind of one of the biggest things you wanna look out for when it comes to a puffer vest is just what the shape of it looks like because some of them have been butchered pretty badly. Some of them like the shape is all off and they just look really weird or they sit really weird on your body, so I am gonna give you guys some recommendations of ones that I've found to be pretty dope. Right, the fourth recommendation that I'm gonna give you guys is an anorak or a windbreaker. Again, another easy recommendation, another extremely versatile option to go with. Now, there is a lot of room in this category as well, like there's a bunch of different ones that are slightly thinner and slightly thicker, but essentially the main things that I'm gonna say is something that's almost waterproof or just kind of, I guess, breaks the wind. Now, the one I have is from New Balance. I feel like this is a great great option. It definitely is a lot thinner than some of the other ones out there. However, again, you can layer it, you can chuck some sweaters or hoodies underneath, and I think it looks pretty dope. Now, I feel like one of the main components of an anorak is the three-quarter zip. That's something that I feel like looks really dope and something that I feel like is going to be the majority of my recommendations to you guys. Some windbreakers or anoraks are kind of lined with fleece. Some are kind of puffer on the inside. There's a lot of different options, but essentially you want something that kind of breaks the wind or is waterproof or just just something you can throw on top and it looks really good with a bunch of different outfits. Now some of the main things to consider that I personally consider when I'm shopping around for an anorak is the adjustability of certain components. Like I really like to have elasticated cuffs, something where it doesn't just kind of flop over your hands. I don't feel like that's too good of a look. So yeah, I always try and find an anorak that has kind of cuffed wrists. And another thing I really like, especially about this New Balance one, is the fact that it has an adjustable waistline. So this is something that you can kind of pull this elasticated cord and it tightens 
up, which gives it a much better look than something that just drapes down. Again, because of the nature of the material, when they just drape down, they look super straight and can give a really awkward look to your outfit. But again, generally speaking, you can find a lot of anoraks or windbreakers at a pretty affordable price. They look dope, easy recommendation, and something I definitely feel like should be in your winter rotation. Right, the last one we're gonna get into today is a little bit of a broader category, and I don't even know if I would necessarily characterize it as a jacket, but let's just talk about it and I'll explain. It's an overshirt, a shacket, or workwear. So again, like I said, pretty broad in terms of a category, but once I give you some of these recommendations, you'll understand what I mean. And again, depending on how cold your region is, is going to depend on how thick you get your overshirt, workwear, or jacket, shacket. So let's start with like the workwear jackets. Those things are super popular right now. You can get a lot of them, or in fact, some of my favorite ones are from Carhartt. I feel like they've been doing it for the longest time. A lot of them look super dope. And again, a really, really good option when it comes to jackets for the winter time. Now an overshirt is another really good option. I feel like it goes with a lot of different outfits. It's a little bit more streetwear based, so it's gonna go with a lot of really dope sneakers and cargo pants or jeans or however you wanna style it. But again, like I said, the thickness of your overshirt is something to consider. You can get ones that are like Sherpa lined and are a lot more warm. Maybe if it's a little bit hotter in your region, maybe something that's just a little bit lighter that you can chuck over a hoodie or a sweater. Again, not every day you're gonna need a super thick puffer jacket, so you'll wanna be prepared for all conditions. If you're going somewhere and it's not too cold outside and you don't wanna be weighed down by a huge coat, maybe just wear a jacket. But again, there's a lot of different styles and variations that you can go for in this category, but I do believe that this is going to make your wardrobe a lot more versatile and again, goes with a lot of different outfits. So again, I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of different recommendations of stuff I have and just other stuff that I feel like is really dope and falls under this category. So you have all the different options. But with that being said, hey, we've gone through every single jacket kind of that I would recommend for winter time. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you would add anything to this list as well. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.